Here's an example of one of the types of problems you may encounter on your exam. A lawnmower is on sale for $1,600, which is 20% off the regular price. How much is the regular price? Now, the first thing you want to do with a word problem like this is convert the words to an equation. Now, you want to be very careful when you're writing out your equation, because if you translate the word problem incorrectly, it doesn't matter how good you are at solving the equation, you're going to get the wrong answer. For instance, if you started out by writing this problem as 1600 plus 20% times 1600 equals the regular price, you're going to wind up with the wrong number. The reason for this is that you're taking the 20% of the sale price instead of 20% of the regular price like the question states. So what you want to write instead is 1600 equals the regular price minus 20% of the regular price. Or since it's regular price minus 20%, you can just write this as 1600 equals 80% of the regular price. Now 80% we can rewrite as a fraction. 80% equals 80 over 100 which is the same as 4 over 5. And then we'll plug this back into this equation. 1600 equals 4 over 5 times the regular price. And now to solve this, all we have to do is multiply both sides by 5 over 4. And then these two cancel. And what we're left with is the regular price is 5 over 4 times 1600. Now multiplying this out what we get is that the regular price is 2000. So the regular price of the lawnmower is $2000. Let's take a look at this problem here. If 45 is 120 percent of a number, what is 80 percent of the same number? Now what we have here is a two-step percentage multiplication problem. First we have to work backwards with 1% and then we get to work forwards with the other percent. This problem gives us two equations that we can solve to find the number we're looking for. Let's write the first one. First we have 45 equals 120% times a number. We'll call that number x. Now to solve this we want to convert the 120% to a fraction. So let's do that. 120 percent is 120 over 100, which is the same as 6 over 5. Now let's substitute that into this equation. And what we get is 45 equals 6 over 5 times x. Now we can multiply both sides by 5 over 6, and that will cancel this to give us x equals 5 over 6 times 45. Now this is actually as far as we need to go with this equation because now we're going to plug the x into the next equation. The second part asks us what is 80 percent of the same number or 80 percent of x. So this equation can be written where y is the number we're looking for. y equals 80 percent times x. Now let's convert 80% to a fraction also. 80% equals 80 over 100, which is the same as 4 over 5. And now we can substitute that back into here. y equals 4 fifths times x, or if we substitute this value in for x, we can get y equals 4 fifths times 5 sixths times 45. Now we can cancel out these fives and the 4 over 6 is the same as 2 over 3 so we can rewrite this as y equals 2 thirds times 45 which is the same as y equals 30.